Hello, son of God, and my brother, this is your awakening. Say my mind, and you don't die, give as you receive, and your release is Satan. This is the number 56 in the series, the dispelling of the illusion, the dispelling of the ego, the undoing of the old for the freedom of the sonship and um, this is one more review from the teachings 26 to 30 and our, our review for today covers the following my attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability how can I know who I am when I see myself as under constant attack pain illness loss age seem to threaten me all my hope and wishes and plans appear to be at the mercy of a world i cannot control yet perfect security and complete fulfillment are my inheritance I have tried to give my inheritance away in exchange for the gold I see, but God has kept my inheritance safe for me. My own real thoughts will teach me what it is. Above all else, I want to see. Recognizing that what I see reflects what I think I am, I realize that vision is my greatest need. The world I see attests to the fearful nature of the self-image I have made. If I would remember who I am, it is essential that I let this image of myself go. As it is replaced by truth, vision will surely be given me. And with this vision, I will look upon the world and on myself with charity and love. The next idea. Above all else, I want to see differently. The world I see, the world I see holds my fearful self-image in place and guarantees its continuance. While I see the world as I sit now, Truth cannot enter my awareness. I would let the door behind this world be opened for me that I may look past it to the world that reflects the love of God. The next idea. God is in everything I see. Behind every image I have made, the truth remains unchanged. Behind every veil I have drawn across the face of love, its light remains undimmed. Beyond all my insane wishes is my will united with the will of my Father. God is still everywhere and in everything forever, and we who are part of Him will yet look past all appearances and recognize the truth beyond them all. And the final idea of today's review, today's teaching, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. In my own mind, behind all my insane thoughts of separation and attack is the knowledge that all is one forever. I have not lost the knowledge of who I am because I have forgotten it. It has been kept for me in the mind of God who has not left his thoughts. And I, who am among them, am one with them and one with him. Thank you.